What is up guys? So we are back. Today is a monumental day. Please uh, ignore my so my swollen face. But um this bumper will not be looking like this anymore. I have uh converted to the sport bumper. Oh look at that. That's why I'm in love with it man. That line. It's so perfect. But it's just me today. You know, I got my, my shit painted. Picked it up this morning with Brian. But it should be pretty easy to uh, install this again. I took it off, tested it before. But hopefully we can get it done by tonight. It's like wash my car, wash Brian's car, so we can go to our uh, the Super Drive official donut meet tomorrow. All right, you guys, so I got all the top bolts um, situated. Uh, this one is part the hardest one on top. You just pull this part back, and then it's gonna be a screw that goes right in that, in that hole right there. The closest one to the left, right there, the tip of my finger. Yeah, that one is a 10 millimeter. All of these are in the front, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeters and tabs. And you'll have this little um, thing called a bracket. I don't know. For the front upper, it's gonna hang like right there. And then you have one on each side. Just pull those out. Yes, sir. You're gonna be reusing those. And then now, these next ones are gonna be, if you look at it, sport. It's be these two. But it's gonna be like right there. But it's pretty easy. If you have the right tools, uh, you can get out here, you pull your fender liner, turn your wheel, make sure you have some clearance, and then it's just gonna be straight up. But thankfully, I have this tool. It's a uh, 90 degree uh, impact ratchet. This will basically slide in there, you know, in them cheeks, and then I'll have an extension, the long schlong, and then I'll, you know, play with it a little bit. And it'll come out. Oh yeah, that take like what five, ten minutes. Pretty easy. You just pull the fender liner back. And then yeah, you guys maybe I saw from another video. But hold on. There's one right there. And there's one deep kinda in there. It's not, it's not too deep, you know. I could reach it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> But um, now I can pop all of these off, I believe, it's kind of clipped in, and then um, I can pop the top off, and then just the, unscrew the bottoms and I'm good. Alright you guys, bumper is officially off, yeah, you feel, now it's just running like this, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. but this is my old one. This is my new one. Um, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just need to put the fog lights in. Uh, put the grills piece in, and then I will show you guys how it looks at the end. So for this mesh grill, you know, I did my own, I drilled my own holes. But yeah, for these, this grill, I basically drilled my own hole. You know, my, my intelligence scares me sometimes, you feel? But, that should come out. I have one over here. Yes, sir. Mesh grill, take it off. Alright y'all, a little sneak peek. I put the, the mesh grill on the sport bumper. I feel like it looks pretty clean. Looks pretty good to me. And then for the fog lights, 
at least for mine, it was pretty easy to take out. So, you have like on the back of the fog light, okay, as I was saying, there are these things in the back that you just have to press in. You have to press in and then it will pop out. And then, there's also, you set the lens up top. It's like a little tab on the, but I believe on the fog light it will be angled like this. It should be like right here and you pull it and then this thing will pop out. Hopefully that's kind of clear. Hopefully. But now I'm gonna put on the um the grill. It is done, ladies and gents. Yes. Yes. Oh. Took some time. Took some time. It took two years because I was broke. But like so the stimmies, the stimulus checks got me a feel. But I think we're good now. Alright you guys, I got everything on, swapped everything over, has some, uh, I have my uh, zip ties, you know, for now, I don't want to get the license plate relocator kit for this car because I do not want to drill into this bumper at all. Alright you guys, it is done. Um, let me get a better angle. It is done. Fake G37 sedan. Sport, fake sport. Fitment, I fuck with it. It's pretty, pretty clean all around. Yeah, a lot of, just don't forget that uh, you do need to reuse brackets that are here on the sides. You just pull it out, you yank it out. And then there's this rubber lining to I guess stop water from coming in. Uh, you need that, you need to pull that off, put it back onto the new bumper. And that's about it. Oh, and there's um little metal pieces at the bottom of the bumper where your undershot will clip onto or screw onto. You will need to um, pull those off, put it on the new one, and you're good. But I'm going to wash my car in the dark. But I think it's good enough. Yes, sir, the boy Brian pulled up. Hey, yo, aren't you supposed to be at work? Hey, yo, chill, man. <laughs> yeah. Work, I'm gonna know. Alright, this man is on the clock, you know? He's on the clock. Shh. <laughs> oh. But he just came to wash his car before we go to uh, the meet tomorrow. Oh. Looks so different. But yeah, Brian drives a. Uh, 2015 burst. Yeah. These are. <laughs> I'm basically, uh. That's it for today. Uh, might vlog tomorrow at this super drive official meet. If I do, this will be a part of the video. I'm out. Alright then. That's it, y'all. See y'all.